Okay, it has been a long night. However, it's been a productive one. Um, so, this circuit, I don't have it on the screen yet. I should have. I should have already had it on the screen. Um, this is the schematic for it. And this goal, the goal of this thing, I'm still, obviously, I'm still messing around with the analog bit at the end. I would get that worked out. Or I hadn't got that worked out, but the, uh... The digital part is this. We have uh, we have a, a, a microcontroller, an AT Mega, probably 168. I don't need much memory. I'm using an Arduino right now, but it's 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 based on an AT Mega 168. And we have that thing going to these three parallel latches. Uh, each one has its own little uh, latch signal for the microcontroller. So basically, it outputs eight bits at a time. Those eight bits go to the relevant latches. And uh, the, the, we don't need the upper five bits, so that those are not hooked up. I could hook them up, but they're not hooked up in this case. Um, we output eight bits at a time and then latch them into the latches. The final latch, which is the one with the least significant bits, which is this one, you'll see its um, load signal is also wired over here to the DAC. It's, it's not wired in my picture because I didn't want the mess on the, uh, on the board layout. Um, Oops, not what I meant to do. Still not what I meant to do. There we go. So yeah, this uh, DAC over here gets its right signal from the same as the latch signal. That's irrelevant. We're not going there. Point being, it works. These address, uh, these 20, 18, 19, 19 address bits go to this 512k EEPROM, for which is extracted from the game that I'm working on. And the data lines go on to the DAC. Anyway. So this was, uh, I'm trying to recreate this game board, basically, and my biggest dread has been trying to deal with the audio, so that's what I've been playing with all night. So I extracted a DAC chip from a fried board. It's living right there. Um, I extracted it literally with a heat gun. My reference is 233 ohm resistors. I'm going to have to do something better than that. That's, that's a waste of power. I don't know how hot they're getting. I'm not going to find out, but they, they're working, and it hasn't shorted, so life's good. So we have the microcontroller, like I said, in this case it's an Arduino Nano, and it is sending 8 bits and various control signals over to these three latches right here. Those three latches are sending uh, 21, 20, 19, 19 bits of address data over to the EEPROM that we got from the game that contains the sound data. And then the data lines are coming over here to the DAC. And we're coming out over here through a capacitor, because the DAC is going to output a ton of DC. Through a capacitor, through a resistor, off to my receiver over there, and up to the speaker. So, I have not programmed this. I, I actually, I did program it. I've already tested this. I'm lying. Um, but I've, I've reset it. There's no data on this microcontroller right now. So I'm gonna open up the Arduino program here, if I can f get the right one. Sound test with interrupts, so that's the one. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that, and we're gonna see what happens. Attendant. That's it, it'll repeat. Yay! It works.